Welcome back to our YouTube series on Workiva's WData product. In this video, we're going to walk through how to build a chain in as little as a few minutes. This video is a partnership between Bellani Analytics and Auditech. We can build chains for you if you have uh, a project in two weeks or less starting under $10,000. So we're definitely a cost-effective option to all of our competitors in the market. Here I am logged into our workspace. I'm in the chains interface. I'm going to create a new chain. I'm just going to call this YouTube demo. And we are going to use the SFTP connector. I'll save this and we will open up our workspace and our chain editor over here. So first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go to the SFTP connector. We are going to download a file. It's typically a good practice to first do list directory to show all of the files that exist in a particular directory just for the purpose of troubleshooting. For the purpose of this video, we're just gonna show you the exact components that we need for a, a very basic chain. We'll go and we'll edit this and our required fields are that we have to specify a connector. We'll have a future video on how to configure individual connectors, but for now I'm going to use our SFTP connector that we've already configured. I'm going to put in our file path, which will be the test files folder, and we will have, um, sorry, that is the wrong file, our YouTube test file.csv going to save this next we're going to go to workiva we're also going under the assumption that we have a table that is already created for us um, we will show you in another video how to go and create and configure tables for now we're just going to connect to an existing table that we already have. So we'll need that create file step. In here, we're going to pass in the table ID that we're loading our file to, what file we want to upload, and then what name we want for the file. So our table ID, if I go to our table that we've set up, we just have three columns in here the table ID is in the URL. So we can just pull this. It's everything after the slash after tables, and we can just paste that into our table ID column. The file that we're going to bring in is the file that we downloaded from the SFTP. I'm just gonna call this YouTube demo file.csv. Go ahead and click the save button here. And then the last piece of the step is we are going to import this file into the table. So bringing files in is a two-step process. First you have to create the file, then you import it into the table. So again, I'm gonna paste that table ID. Now from a file ID perspective, I'm just gonna pull from our create file step. Underneath results, we have access to the ID of the file. I will save this, I'm going to publish this, and I'm going to run it. Now this is going to create a very basic chain. This is going to pull in the file from the SFTP site into the table that we just looked at. If you're putting this in a production environment, um, you'll want to make sure you're doing things like checking to see if the file already exists in the table, deleting it. Uh, and then importing the, this file. That way, if you're running this process every single day, um, you wanna make sure that you're always bringing in the latest data. This is just a very basic um, example that we're doing here. We'll show you some of, um, some of that more advanced uh, features in a future video. So we're waiting for this uh, file, it's, it's created. If we jump over to our table definition, we can see the file that we created over here. It is in the process of loading. 
And now we get that green check mark, which shows that it's been imported into the table. Um, if we jump back to our chain builder, we'll see this will uh, update very shortly with that green check mark. But we can go into our table, we can preview that file. We have just some dummy data in here, and we can see uh, the first few records, the loan number, branch number, and amount. If we jump back to our chain, we see that it's updated to, uh, to run successfully. Well, thanks for watching, and be sure to contact us if you have any WData or WDesk projects uh, upcoming. We'd be happy to offer you a free consultation. Check out the link for that in the video description. Thanks.